National Educator. Welcome to our geography lesson. This is geography revision lesson 2 and our topic is agriculture. By the end of the lesson, it is expected that should be, you should be able to answer the following questions correctly. Question number 1. We are saying it is use the photograph below to answer questions A, B and C1 that follow. That is our photograph. Look at it. Those are the features on the photograph. Then we move on to the question. Question 1A, sorry, question A1. Identify the type of photograph above. It is allocated one mark. Here we are saying, when you talk about identify, it means to establish or indicate which type of photograph it is. Repeat, it simply means to establish or to indicate which type of photograph this one is. Then we are also adding, when you think about the type of photograph, we are saying it refers to the category in which the photograph belongs. In which category does this photograph belong? Then it is important for us to note that there could be other questions, all right, in relation to what you already have. And we are talking about, for example, name the kind of photograph above. The responses would be the same, though the question is framed differently. Then we are saying, when answering the question, we do the following. Remember, we want to know what kind of photograph is this. So we do the following. Number one. Look at the number of features captured by the camera. The number you identify the number of features, either they are few, either it is just one, or there are many, then that already gives you a hint as to the type of uh, photograph this one is. Number two, we are saying find out whether you can see the horizon or the background. Lana, again, very important. It is a very important feature on a photograph. It will guide you in knowing what kind of photograph we are talking about. Another thing that you need to be careful about, check for the possible position of the camera. So that when you look at the features, was the camera focused on one item or one feature, or was, was, it, uh, uh, was it focused on a general area? capturing several different items. Again, we are saying it is important for us to know the possible position of the camera in order to determine the type of photograph that we are talking about. For this photograph, we are saying a number of features are captured. So when you look at the photograph, we ha already have a number of features. Number one, we are saying the horizon is visible. You can see the horizon from the front part of the photograph. Another point, the main objects, and those are the cows on that photograph, you're saying, they grow smaller in size from the foreground to the background. So they become smaller and smaller as you move away from the camera. That's another very important item that you need to observe on a photograph. Another point, uh, sorry, now that we have got that information, and I want to remind you, we are saying the horizon is visible. And number two, the main item, that is the cows, becomes smaller and smaller as you move away from the camera. Then we can comfortably come up with the conclusion. So this is our conclusion. We are saying the photograph was taken from the ground and captured several different features. Another important point, the photograph, the photograph is therefore 
Lana, I want you to look at this. We have already, I have already given you the hint that the photograph has captured several items. The background and the horizon are uh, visible. So it is important for you to have an idea already. What kind of photograph are we talking about?